Hey guys, Munchies here, and today we're going to go over some tips and little things that I kind of learned that helped with the 110 HP Lantern mechanic for Akan on Gate 2. So, the first thing that I'm going to go over are some tips and some things to know about the mech itself. So, it has a timer. So, once you hit the mech, if you slow damage down for any reason, or if your group's damage is just low in total, you'll see this Lantern mech more than one time. So, it's very dangerous and it has a high chance of people dying. And it's just one of those gimmicks that are really annoying to deal with. So the first thing you want to do is immediately get behind a con when it starts. He doesn't always start in the middle. He can start this anywhere in the map sometimes. Um, and the next thing is not to pay attention to how a con actually moves. Just make sure you're moving in the correct direction that the skulls indicate. And the turns will always add up to 360 degrees. So if he does the first turn is 90 degrees and then he does another turn for 90 the next turn, if it's a 180 degree turn, that is a full turn like rotation, if so to speak. And try not to be right on top of the boss behind him. Uh, I found it easier to leave like a little bit of space behind him because sometimes if you were hugging the boss directly behind him and he's turning or whatnot, sometimes the game tends to think that you are in front of him. So let's get into the mechanic itself and break it down. So he starts the mechanic by drawing the circle on the ground with the scythe. And as soon as he does this, you want to be behind him. And sometimes it's kind of hard to tell because there's all this flashing. As you can see, I kind of like walk in front of him at start. Then as soon as you realize that you are not behind him, you want to get behind him as fast as you can. There is a little bit of grace in doing this because there's a little bit of time for you. And as I said earlier, you want to leave some space. So kind of stand a little bit in like the bigger part of the shadow because standing right on top, doesn't really work out all that well all that time and I play a full spec class when I was doing this so I have like no bonus movement besides like the yearning buff and I was able to complete the mechanic just fine so don't worry about how fast you're moving or what have you. Now for the main part of the mechanic is the skulls right so he has these two skulls and they will glow so there will be one on his left and one on his right the one that glows is the direction that he is going to turn in his direction. So as shown above, this one indicates that he's going to turn to his right. So you're going to want to move away from it, meaning the opposite of it. So you're going to want to move up in that direction away from that skull. Now, this is where you have to watch out for him being kind of like tricky, right? So he'll sometimes kind of juke the other way to make you think he's going to move the other way or something. And you kind of panic or like he just doesn't move at all. Basically, just try to stay in the shadow as best as you can and... You can just rotate around. As you can see, he did like this huge 180 here. And you're still able to get in the shadow without an issue as long as you are moving in the correct direction that you are supposed to when he begins to turn. But yeah, the three main things is pretty much just move the direction that you're supposed to move. Don't get juked by him when he kind of like turns the other way. And just make sure you stay in the shadow the whole entire duration. Don't walk out too early. And pay attention to the skulls because sometimes they can activate pretty quick and they uh, show the indicators rather quickly, like one after the other in succession. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, and concerns about this mech, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.